Hey and welcome to my channel. My name is Chris. If you're new here, my channel will consist of home decor, fashion, lifestyle, stay at home mom vlogs, just to name a few. Today's video is going to be all about home decor and just a little bit about fashion. So let's get into the video. The previous video um, that I had actually posted about me going shopping actually at Crate and Barrel, I was looking for um, a petrified wood um, slab, I guess you would call it. I was going to use it um, for my nightstand to put my, my little water care up on it just because of the fact that um, I have um, a lot of watermarks and I don't want additional watermarks getting on there. So when I went to um, to Crate and Barrel, they actually did not have that particular wood, uh, petrified wood that I was looking for. I guess the type of tree or wherever they found this particular piece of wood, um, they no longer were making. So um, I did not like that, but the sales lady did show me a new something else that I'm gonna see if it actually works, which is um, this. It's actually considered an agate serving board. So it's kind of rectangular. It has like little agate splices all in it. So I'm gonna see if my water care will, um, or glass care um, will, you know, be okay on this because I wanted to get, what's the word I'm looking for? I didn't just want a coaster. I wanted it to have, you know, a little bit more space on there so I could put my glass um, board on there. Just a few other little knickknacks if I needed it that would not just be resting um, solely on my nightstand and making my nightstand work. So we'll see if this works, but I love it. I love the color of blues that are in it. It has like a little bit of gray tones. And then obviously you have the little splices of like the browns and um, grays and things like that. So love this. This was $79. It's pretty heavy pretty substantial as well um so i like this a lot so that was one thing i got the other thing i got was some utensils cooking utensils love this green color oh my gosh it's like a hunter green and what i'm really trying to do again like i told you in the last video is trying to um do more quality over quantity i'm going through my uh, kitchen utensils now and getting rid of old utensils broken utensils and i just wanted to look nice pretty but still be uh, functional and usable very very heavy weight material love it have my little i guess what is like a flipper what they call it um a slotted turner never would have caught my flipper okay um this is a turner <laughs> too as well and then this is like a slotted spoon but love the colors love it Let's see okay. and then the last thing i told you i previously purchased the larger one i mean the smaller version of this but we'll see what this one looks like So I got the one for to put what do you call them? Little Q tips in and I think I'm gonna use this to put my cotton ball in. Let's see if we can get it out of here. It looks a lot larger on here than it does. Oh, it's kinda dirty too. You need to wash this. <laughs> But this is $24.99. It's the glass canister 7 inch. And I'm going to put my cotton balls on this one. But I will definitely wash this. Because it is so kind of dirty. But um, it does look something like a little box. So love that. Can't wait to use these. A cookie. Okay, my last few purchases that I've made were from Free People, as I told you before. I live in Texas, so right now I know everyone is transitioning to fall wear, but it is still pretty hot out here. So my main thing now and going forward, I think, um, just due to the uh, pandemic and not really being able to go a lot of places, I'm not really uh, investing a lot, a lot in clothes, especially summer clothes. Um, I'm more of a fall person, fall winter person anyway, as far as like how I would like to dress. Um, with it being hot here, I wanted to focus more on accessories, whether that's a nice hat, as you can see above me, or nice piece of jewelry, um, or even shoes and um, another accessory, which is glasses. So when I went to Free People, I saw these um, 
items and I was in love. Price point great, but also the quality of them were phenomenal for what they were. So um, let's get the first one going, which is, um, I have this on. They were $25 and they look like this. I'm in love with the lenses. I mean, they have like a little blue green tint to it, very see-through. I love that they are big. I'm a big glasses person as far as the frame goes. I love them being large and huge. So I like how it looks. It, it's giving me like a more of like a Gucci vibe, but not the price point. So these are 25, really, really pretty. You can kind of see that. I love that it has like the little gray tones and like a little etching in it gray and light gray and then like some uh, i guess acrylic look see-through this was the first one this is 25. i thought this is really good the quality is really good too on it not cheap then i have i bought these two i'm not really a pink fan but I, these really did call out to me these were 20. and i love how they look very cute pink and just give you kind of like a like a boho vibe to it or whatever really nice love it even though it can still kind of read off um spring summer gray price point very um felt very sturdy and i feel like i can kind of pull those off in the winter time too as well and it has almost like a rose gold kind of tint to it but really like them really really cute and then my last pair of glasses are these and I think these are 25 too as well and again I know it has like a little pink frame almost again too but I love 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 that they are gray um and it still gives me like a, again a Gucci vibe but not having to pay $500 for the glasses so um, I think that's really a good investment to find quality pieces over the the uh, the price point and the quantity of it. But I feel like if you invest in um, good quality accessories, it will definitely elevate your style, and you don't have to always spend so much on um, other pieces to uh, stay in style, um, etc. So my thing is invest in a nice watch, jewelry, sunglasses. And they don't have to cost that much either as well. But also make sure that they are you and that you feel comfortable in them. I'm not very, a really a trendy person. I like to um, purchase things that look good on myself and that I would get uh, my cost per wear out of them. If I feel like I can only wear them one or two times, it's not really worth my money because I do like nice quality pieces and I would like to, um, you know, wear them. You know, why purchase them if you're not going to wear them? I'm not really one of those people that will purchase, um, say, I have a Chanel bag and just say I only will wear it when, you know, holidays or nice events. You never know, you know, anything could happen. You could pass away. So, you know, wear your things. Wear them every day. Hell, wear them to the grocery store. That's what I do. <laughs> but uh, if you stuck around this long, definitely hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Please tell people about this channel. Help me build this channel up. Thank you for tuning in and you have a great day. See you all later. Bye-bye.